Sir, so nangyari na. Pinirmahan na po ni President Marcos postponing the uh, barangay and SK elections to next year. What happens now? Yes, sir. As committed before by the COMELEC, all of the ballots printed, all of the goods and supplies procured will be kept in storage for in the, under uh, our security. This will be put into use later in the year for, uh, in, the, in the resetting of the barangay elections on the last Monday of October 2023, and that's October 34, 2023. Wala pong masasayang dito, including the ballot na naprint na po namin because all of these are accounted for in a simple resolution by the Commission and Bank uh, will allow and authorize its use for the 2023 elections. We all agree naman that this, this thing is a political question. Wala pong balak ang COMELEC na mag-suggest ng legislation kahit suntok sa buwan to into to ask our lawmakers na magpas ng law na wag nang magpo-postpone unless siguro natural calamity, natural disaster ang tumama. Just to ensure the regularity of our elections, hindi ba? Isn't that the essence of a democratic representation? Tama naman po, ma'am. I mean, really, the fixing of the elections, yung particular interval set under law, stabilizes yes. democracy and governance. Tama naman po yan. Because the people themselves could see when the elections will happen, at hindi po sila nagbabago or uh, nangangamba na may iba. But then again, lagi nga po namin sinasabi, this really are political questions. Kung sakali man po ang tatanungin ng Pumilek, ito rin naman po yung magiging sagot namin. Sasabihin po namin sa ating kongreso na we see stability in fixing the debates of the elections at regular intervals as set by law. But we also see and respect the power of the executive and legislative department of our government to set the stage for 